Hi guys, today we're going to walk you through the basic steps and installation process of the MS3C 300WC, our battery operated wheelchair trolley. The MS3C 300WC is going to arrive in a crate. Some of the parts you're going to need to install. I'm going to walk you through that process now. The side supports will come separately. To install them, you will unscrew the black knob on the front of the chair, slide it into the channel, and tighten the knob. You'll need to do this on both sides. Your wheel supports will also come separately. To install them, you'll pull the red knob at the front of the chair, slide the supports into the channel, and lock it in the desired position. Let me show you a couple of the basic operations of the 300WC. To extend the telescoping handrail, you're going to squeeze the red horizontal bar across the back of the chair and lift. This bar will need to be in the full outward position when in use. To engage the traps, you push the red lever at the back of the chair. The traps will automatically engage into the full outright position. To close the traps when you are not using the chair, push the red lever at the top of the traps and simply close. This unit comes with locking casters. To lock the caster, push the red on button. To unlock, push the red off button. The next part of this video is going to walk you through the steps in adjusting your trolley for your specific wheelchair. The first thing you're going to need to do is adjust the red wheel supports to the correct width of your wheelchair. These supports are adjustable. They go from a minimum of 18 to 22 inches at the smallest, up to 22 to 29 inches at the widest. You're going to want to take your wheelchair and line it up with the red supports. Once you have the desired width, you can wheel the chair back onto the trolley. The side supports on this trolley are adjustable in several ways. If you need to adjust the width of the side supports, twist the black knob on front of the chair and move in or out. You will want this arm to grab the back of your wheelchair. Once it's in place, tighten it. If you need this arm to go in or out, you can pull the knob on the side and adjust it front to back. There is an also an adjustment to adjust this whole unit up and down. You may need it to clear your armrest on the wheelchair. To do that, there are four Allen bolts on the front of this chair. You will unloosen all of those, slide the whole bar up or down, and retighten in the desired position. The wheel supports on this trolley are also adjustable. We recommend at least a 14 inch wheel, and it can accommodate up to a normal standard wheelchair wheel. To adjust this track, you will simply remove the four bolts on each slide. You can adjust it up or down, and then reinsert the bolts and tighten. This part of the video is just a recap of the minimum and maximum dimensions needed for your specific wheelchair. The red wheel supports are adjustable. When they are in the full in-right position, you have a clearance of 18 to 22 inches between the red channels. At their maximum position, you have a dimension clearance of 22 to 29 inches. For your wheelchair's minimum clearance, you're going to need at least 18 inches between the back wheels to accommodate the frame. Your side supports are adjustable in three different ways. They are height adjustable from 27 to 36 inches. This can accommodate the handrails on the side of your wheelchair. These are also adjustable widthwise. They are adjustable from 18 to 27 inches to accommodate the backrest of your wheelchair. They are also depth adjustable. They are adjusted from three and a half inches to five inches to accommodate any wheelchair. To prepare this unit for use, you will need to install the headrest. Simply Velcro it to the uprights. You will also need to install the battery. The battery slide is on the back of the chair. Line up the battery on the slide and lock it into place. Now that you have your trolley properly adjusted for your chair, we're gonna show you how to use it on the stairs. The first thing you're going to do is extend the telescoping handrail. Squeeze the red lever across the back of the chair and lift. Install the headrest onto the uprights with the Velcro. 
Next, you're going to engage the tracks. Push the red lever at the back of the chair and the tracks will automatically engage. Next, we're gonna position the unit up against the back of the stairs. Stay tuned and we're gonna show you a short demonstration. Before you begin, please make sure that the wheelchair is securely fastened inside the trolley and the casters on the trolley are locked. Before you begin the process of ascending or descending, please keep in mind that the unit does all the work. You just have to guide it up and down the flights of stairs. Okay? When you're ready, please begin by tilting the chair with the trolley backwards until the tracks are on the stairs. Then push the up. Descend down, simply push the down button. Once you're at the ground floor, go ahead and slowly, gradually push the chair back into the flat upright position. As always, MS3C would like to thank you for your business. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly. You can also find us on Facebook and YouTube. There are specific videos for each of our units. We also have a battery-operated stair chair unit, the MS3C 300 TSB, and a manual version, the MS3C 300 TS.